What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing an install and review of the Extreme LED 10 watt 12 inch bar. We're going to be installing this on my 2015 Rubicon right here. So I'll be taking you through how to do that, how to wire it up and uh, check it out how bright it is. So the first step to do this, so the light comes with these brackets right here. As you can see, these little L bracket types. And what you want to do is really figure out the length that you're going to need. It runs about 13 inches if you put the bracket like this on the outside. And I think it runs about 12 inches if you do it like this on the inside. So really figuring out what you want to do is the number one step. So after doing some measurements, I think I'm going to run it on the outside since it's about 13 inches. Um, so I'm going to get that hooked up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Extreme LED sends you all the parts that you're going to need to install this. Um, sends you a couple of these hex nuts right here, some lock washers, some regular washers, and some Allen key bolts. So these will basically go, let me show you, these will basically go right into here on the side of it and then uh, these longer ones will go right down here to your mounting position. I'll show you guys that in a few minutes. So what I like to do, um, and obviously everyone tells me differently and will tell you differently probably, when you put a bolt on, I like to do washer first and then lock washer. Honestly, it's not too big of a deal if you flip it around the other way. Um, I've heard from several different people they do it the other way around, but that's how I like to do it. So this is what it should look like when you're done. Um, don't make these too tight yet because once you put this on the car you want to be able to wiggle it back and forth and get the proper height that you want. So keep them uh, finger tight for right now and then once they're on the car then we can really strap them down. So once we finish that, um, it should look something like this. Both bolts should be like that and it should be able to sit flat just like so. So those holes line up right there, line up right there. Looks like a perfect, uh, perfect fit. Now we can go take these bolts that they supplied for you and uh, just bolt it down. All right, so in my personal case, the holes over here on my side were a little too small. So I had to take a drill. Um, I believe I used a, I think it's a 3 8 drill bit with a high, high speed drill um, just to make these bolts fit right here. Let me see if I can get in there. Uh, these bolts right here that uh, Extreme LED supplies, they're pretty thick bolts, but uh, since they're pretty thick, they're going to hold up very nicely. I'm quite confident they will. So, as of right now, this is what it looks like without anything bolted on or wired up. So, unlike many other companies, Extreme LED actually offers a plug and play system. But um, everyone who wires their lights are going to be a little different. So, mine, I have a switch pod system right over here, um, which allows me to just make it very easy to hook it up to the car. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to chop it off right about here and just run a red and black wire to the switch box and it'll make it very easy. But Extreme LED, if you go on their website, they have a plug and play system. So you plug it in here and it runs right to the battery terminals and you have all of your um, relays and switches just go straight to the dashboard in your car. So I just showed you what Extreme LED's little plug and play toggle looks like. It's this little guy right here. If it'll focus. So I just had to cut that off since I do have the switch pod system and under this wire um, you're just left with a red and black, red positive, black and negative. Um, what I have to do is connect these two and run them straight to the system right there which will then allow me to just flip the switch and it'll be on. Makes it super easy and um, this makes it very easy if you don't have that system. So. Uh, once you have these two parts right here, the positive, which is red, and the negative, which is black, um, all clipped off and all connected to a wires that are your size to go snake through here into the battery. Um, for me, since I have the switch pod, you're going to have something that looks a little like this. I have basically two connectors on it, and these connectors will go right into here. As you can see, I have other accessory lights they'll go right into these switches right down here. Super easy, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna get that hooked up and show you what it looks like. So, as you guys can see here, I have the light running through. I put it through this um, kind of heat shield so that when it goes through these sharp edges, 
it doesn't uh, rip the wiring. Every auto mechanic will probably use that. If they don't, you should add that. Have it snaked through here, through the grill, around here. This is just a really rough cut. I'm gonna hide it all later, just to, to do it quickly. Got right here, got these two plugged in just like so. Um, and let's go try it out. So I have it wired up to switch number one, which says Sasquatch lights. So let's see if it works. Looks good, looks like it just turned on. All right, so here's what it looks like. Oh yeah, that is bright. Oh yeah, you guys can't tell, uh, obviously, but that is extremely bright. Lights up everything over here, looks good. All right, now that we saw that everything works, we know that light works great, we can uh, make everything super tight, like these are still finger loose right here, this is finger loose. Uh, we can wear, wire that nice properly, uh, hang it behind the mass flow sensor or something like that, and uh, get this installation complete. Alrighty guys, so the Extreme LED 10 watt 12 inch light bar is now finally completely installed. Um, don't mind these white zip ties, those are going to be replaced, my black zip ties were a little too small. It comes right down here, through here, you can't even see it, it goes under here, under the engine compartment, out through here, and then it plugs into right, I believe I have that switch 2 right there. So what I'll show you is, I'll show you in the car what it looks like. So I have my switch pod in here, and I have that as rear lights even though that can be changed um, very easily with just a little toggle. Push that up and as you can see lights it up very nicely. So I'm gonna call this install complete and um yeah.